Hi guys and welcome back and if you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below if you have not done so yet. I don't know what you're waiting for, click it. Anyway guys, I wanted to sit down and film my favorites this month. Hits and misses, there is a mixture of both. Yes, I have swatches all over the place. I just finished filming um, a couple of videos and I figured let me sit down while I have time to film my hits and misses for this month. So, if you wanna see what works and what I won't repurchase, stick around. talk about that I have been loving is the Too Faced Pretty Mess palette and this was a collab that they did with Erica Jane. She is so beautiful. It does have a mirror and this is what the inside of it looks like. I have been, excuse me, I have been loving, 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 loving this palette. For me, like with any brand, some products are hit and miss. I was very, very skeptical about picking this up and I am glad that I took the plunge and purchased this because the blendability is amazing. The formula is outrageous and I've just been loving, loving it. And the glitter shades, they work so nice and they don't have to be wet. They don't have to be set down. None of that. It, they just work beautifully. Pigmentation, amazing. Definite love this month. The next thing that I have been loving and I got in my BoxyCharm was the No Pore Blim Primer. As you can see, I've used a ton of it. I love to put it together with my e.l.f. Pore Putty. These two together are like a dream. They just were meant to be together. I love mixing the two together. It is just the perfect match. They're just, mwah, they're the perfect match. And the poreless putty is always sold out, always. But this is what it looks like. There's a giant dip in it, as you can see. I have been loving, loving the two of them to death. And... These are definitely two products that I would definitely repurchase. I do notice that my pores are not as predominant with these products, which is always a plus because it just shows that the product is doing what it says that it's going to do. The next thing that I purchased also from BoxyCharm, which is almost empty. There's like this much left. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I love to put this on my face before I do any application. I just spray it on my face, I gently rub it in, and I let it sit there. This has been a favorite of mine. I think I put it in last month's favorite. Love it. This is definitely something that I would repurchase again. The next product that I have been loving is the Not Your Mother's All Eyes On Me 10 in 1 Hair Perfector. Um, just, I love this. There's like maybe, I wanna say like this much of it left. I did pick up another one when they were on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty. And I find that this is something that I cannot live without after constantly using it. It smells amazing, leaves my hair feeling amazing. So it's definitely something I would repurchase again. And I have. The next thing is a mask and this is from Tammy. And this is their detox mask. And this is the green tea blend. This is actually really hard to open because this is a fresh new one because I just finished a whole one. And this stuff is amazing, guys. Yeah, you put it on, you're gonna look like the Hulk. But when I use this stuff, I really do feel like it does detoxify. My face feels really soft and silky. I feel like my face has that natural glow back to it. So this is something that I have repurchased. 
I will continue to repurchase and I absolutely love, love, love it. It's okay. You look like the Hulk for five or 10 minutes and, and then it's over and your face looks amazing, amazing. Another product that I did repurchase also is by Tammy and this is the Soothe Tea Infused Oil with Lavender and Sage. As you can see, I've used um, quite a bit of it. And if you look, you could see the sage leaves and the lavender inside of it. This stuff, not only does it smell nice, but after I use my mask and I dry my face off really, really well, I put a couple of drops of this and it has this cute little dropper. Like if you look at the end of it, it has like that little hook. I put a couple of drops of this onto my fingers, just right here, a couple rub it together and then rub it on my face again i've said it in a previous video i don't touch under my eyes with it um not with any product i don't put it under my eyes because i don't want to get breakouts there they're very hard to get rid of but this stuff leaves my face feeling so soft and it keeps the glow in your face i love to apply it at night and it smells amazing and it does its job. So I did repurchase this. It wasn't on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty. That video should already be up, but I did repurchase that because I just love it to death. The next two products that are in my favorites this month kind of like threw me for a loop because I've been working on Project Pan. I will link that video down below. And these are products that I was doing on my own for Project Pan, but just at one point just wanted to hurry up and finish them because I paid for them and I wanted to just be gone with them, but they've become my favorite again. These are like two re-favorites and that is the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth and this is in the shade 315. I know that I'm pretty much hitting pan really, really good on this. Again, it is in my Project Pan. So I've made good progress with this, but we'll talk about that in another video. But that has become one of my favorites again. And another thing from my Project Pan is my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced. I have been loving, loving this again. As you can see, there's a dip in it, a big dip. But since I started reusing it again, I just fell in love with it all over again. and was like, I really, really like just the way it looks. So... I guess that's a good thing about Project Pan when you're trying to hit pan on stuff and you want to finish a product and you haven't used it or reached for it in a long time, you rediscover your love for it. The next product that I have been loving, 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 loving is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Oh my goodness. Wet n Wild in so many ways has stepped up their game. This is what it looks like. It has this big giant sifter, but it does give a lot, a lot of product out. So you have to be really, really careful, but they have stepped up their game so, so much. When I use this, there is like no creasing. The It says translucent, but it does have like a little bit of color to it. I don't know if the camera was picking it up. It's not like totally totally translucent there's like a hint of like a color to it and it doesn't give you what the fuck okay now we're in focus it doesn't give you the uh white overcast there's no flashback no flashback and it's a drugstore powder that is amazing i will definitely be repurchasing this once I go through all of my powders, this will have to find its place on my vanity because I just love it that much. The next product that I have been loving this month is the blush from Juvia's Place and this is Serafina. It does have a little mirror, but this is what it looks like. It is such just a like peachy kind of coral color. I have been loving that. And this is it right here. It's just, it's a great blush for spring and summer. 
and I've just been using it so much and loving it and the packaging is so adorable. Juvia's Place has a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. The next thing that I have been loving, and I know you guys are like, wait, I thought this was hit and miss. There's, there's, they're in here. I'm just pulling stuff out. The highlighter from Too Faced, which also was a collab with Erica Jane. This is Money Honey Highlighter. And, um, you know, you know, I just love it. As you can see, I have been using it. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but this is just the most beautiful highlighter ever. It gives you the right amount of badass shine that you're looking for every day. Love, love it. I'm glad that I picked that up. Again, as always, in all of my empties, I talk about the, it's really busted up looking, but I use it to death. The Urban Decay Drop Shot Oil, cannot live without this. This is a repurchase, and I have repurchased another one because I don't know if you guys can see, there is half of the bottle gone, so can't live without that. Most definitely cannot. The next highlighter, and this I discovered in TJ Maxx, and was a total game changer. This is not a highlighter for every day because it is blinding. It is insane. And this is the Bobbi Brown Afternoon Glow Highlighter. Oh my God, guys. It does have a mirror, but this is what it looks like. Look at that. Look at that glow. And that's just a swatch. I'm going to put it right here. This highlighter, when you put it on and you blend it, it is so beautiful and so blinding. I mean, look at it. And it looks, it has like that effect of like it looks wet, but it's not wet. It's so fucking pretty. This highlighter, I wish that they had more because I would stock up on it because it's just amazing. So one of my misses is from ColourPop and I love all things ColourPop, but for me, this was very, very gimmicky. And this is their ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. And I got it in the shade Kiss and Teal. Now, as you can see from the wand, it looks like that green. I purposely bought it because I had a couple of ideas in my head of some looks that I wanted to do. And I was like, wow, that will be like a perfect statement mascara for these looks. Also bought it for St. Patrick's Day. And guys, if you have dark lashes, this just, it puts like a small hint of color, not even a lot. And even putting like a lash primer and putting it on, you've got to sit there and put like 85 coats of it on. And if, you have light lashes, this is gonna look amazing on you. But to me, it was just gimmicky. I watched so many videos before I purchased it. And I was in between like making a judgment call of do I need this? Because I feel like because I have dark lashes, it's not gonna work. There were so many videos out there. Oh my God, this is amazing. This works great. They didn't do a demonstration. They didn't show you what they look like, but they were just saying, if you have dark lashes, you're going to be surprised because this works and blah, 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 blah. Dude, you got your video. You got people to sit and watch it. You made your coins and you lied. Don't fucking sit there and lie and say something is great when it's not. And in no way, shape or form am I bashing color pop. Because like I said, if you have light lashes, this is going to look amazing on you. But for me, because I have dark lashes, it just didn't work for me. But I hate when people sit there on YouTube and they're like, oh my God, it's so amazing. Oh my God, it's so great. And it, it's really not. So I was like, if all of these people are saying it's working, then I'm going to give it a shot. No good. No good. Next product that I have been liking is from ColourPop. And this is the brunch date blush that they did with Zoella. 
and this is in the shade soulmate it does have a big mirror and this is what the blush looks like it is just a very i'm gonna swatch it right up here it is just a very light light pink it is so pretty and so i don't know if you can see it it's like right here it's very light this is like just a light kiss on the cheek it is perfect perfect for everyday wear next thing that i have been loving and cannot live without guys is the 16 hour camo concealer from elf guys if you have not picked this up it's been sold out everywhere it has been sold out because it is that good trust me i'm not going to sit here and tell you something is amazing and great when it is not i will always be 100 percent honest with you guys always but this concealer is a game changer oh my it, it's right in the front of my vanity i don't even look at any of my other concealers right now that is how good this is it does increase it is a little thick but that's okay it doesn't oxidize it doesn't crease it doesn't make under your eyes look darker than it needs to be like it's just this is love in a bottle love in a bottle if you have not picked it up and you see it in stock i'm telling you to buy more than one because you're going to be in love These two products are lip products that i have been loving yes this just launched like a couple of weeks ago but these are the two villain lipsticks from ColourPop, and let me tell you something this one is evil queen and this is the perfect shade of red the most perfect shade of red if you're looking for the deepest most beautiful true red ever that's the red for you highly recommend picking it up the next one is maleficent and that's the one i have on right now it looks really really pink but when you put it on it's just a little bit but like a beautiful like a beautiful berry color these have been my two favorite lipsticks that i can't stop using like you know when you do your eyes and you're like Oh man, that needs a neutral lipstick. I have been sitting there doing my makeup, planning my makeup around these two lipsticks. Because you know, if you do like a really, really, really dark, like greens and, and deep blues, you really can't wear a red lip. That's just my opinion. I don't think that they match well together. So like I will... Oh, there's a lot of sirens. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, I plan my looks around these two lips because I just have to use them. Just have to. The next thing that I have been loving is the It Superhero Mascara. This has been my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara. I did find a dupe for it. It is the, I think it's, lash princess by essence but the essence one is a little bit thinner than this one and a lot of people don't like this mascara because they say it's clumpy or um it just doesn't sit right you just have to like look it does come out thick you just gently brush it across brush it across the top so you get the excess off of it and then apply it perfect every single time. This is basically like a, a, a mascara that you kind of got to caress and love and learn to work with. And once you learn to work with it, you're going to fall in love. Because honestly, I was on that train of, oh my God, I don't like this. When I tried it, I was like, no, this is not for me. It is clumpy. It is this. It is that. And then I was just like, I have to give it a full shot. Really, really have to give it a good go. And once you learn how to caress it and love it and let it do its thing, you're going to fall in love. The next thing that I purchased that I didn't like, I really thought I had more of the oh no's in this, but obviously not. It's a pretty, pretty good month here. 
is the ColourPop Liquid Liner, and this is in the shade, I don't even know what shade it is. Where does it say? Oh, this is in the Hills, and this is what it looks like. And again, for me, this was just like, oh no. While the tip is really, really nice, the shade is really, really beautiful, but you kind of have to like really press for anything to come out. So if you're going to go across your eye really, really gently like this, it's not going to come out. You got to gotta push and pull, push and pull. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I got a bad one. I don't know. But for me, this was just like a... I'm only going to reach for this if I really, really have to. I don't see myself reaching for this too, too often. The next thing is something that is always in my collection that I never really, really talk about in my favorites. And I don't know why. I really should talk about it more often. And this is the Stila Eye Glitter. And this is in the shade Kitten Karma. You guys, this is the small one. I have two big giant ones because I have to be stocked on this. And this is what it looks like. And let's swatch her right here. Right here is Kitten Karma. This is another thing like those lipsticks where it's like, well, what can I do today to put this in? Because I love this so much and I have to have it in my life and I have to use it. So sometimes when I really, really, really need to use it, I always correspond everything to go with this. And it's just... If you don't have Kitten Karma in your life, I recommend you pick it up and try it. It will be love at first swipe. Love at first swipe. And lastly, guys, the uh -huh. last eyeshadow palette that I have been loving, loving, loving is also from ColourPop. And this is the Just My Luck palette. It does have a mirror. And as you can see, I've used it quite a bit. There's a dip in this. There's a dip here. There's a dip here and all these. I, I say it all the time. I love green shades. I love blue shades. And this is just something that you can use all the time and get everyday looks out of, especially now with the spring coming, if it ever comes, because now they're saying we're supposed to get snow again next week. Please, please no. Um, but with spring and summer, there's so many looks you could pull out of here and make with this so I absolutely been loving this all right guys so what are your favorites this month what did you not like at all comment down below and let me know let me know if any of these are your favorites or if you've tried them and you didn't like them and they didn't work for you I'd love to I'd love to know so until next time bye guys